啦啦。Peeps and welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm Blala, and I've been working very hard on the prison just to tweak a few bits, ready for us to carry on pushing through, building loads more, and and trying to advance the prison as quickly as possible, but also in a sensible way. Um, so let me show you around with some of the things that I have been up to. Um, I have expanded and revamped. The solitary area so we've removed the cleaning cupboard we've not removed it we've moved the cleaning cupboard I've actually put solitary doors on now and um, I've also just secured this up a little bit and I put the bits in the office there and and so and this is full of snitches and and drug um, people need rehab stuff like that and then uh, I've actually done a nice little area. Can you see it around here for it? Um, so I did that. The cleaning cupboard. So one of the cleaning cupboards has been moved to here. Um, and the other cleaning cupboard has been moved here. Um, now it was sort of there. It hasn't moved much, to be honest. <laughs> but there it is. Oh, and I've been putting lights outside. Can you see the buildings? And um, I've also filled in these little office areas here and each cell block now has a metal detector and I fixed the doors as well so they open the correct ways um, so that's nice got that going um, now I wanted to build as you know a kennels for the dogs so here we go I've built a kennel area for the dogs and also a staff room to go with it so the dogs don't have to go all the way back to the beginning um, the start of the prison you know all the way back there at the entrance because it's it's a long way away it's problematic so this is really really great and they're using it um, plenty as you can see how um, we also had a little bit of a change with laundry um, made it a little bit bigger so that there is uh, the correct amount of ironing boards to wash machines you know the ratios are important um to make sure that this is working as efficiently as possible so we're going to keep an eye on the laundry situation and and make sure that that need is being satisfied indeed we are um i've actually employed a load of staff as well um look just to get you up to date we still have no we have 70 guards I um, still only have two doctors, but look, we have 30 dog handlers, 20 gardeners, 14 cooks now, um, because food is an ever-growing issue. Um, so, you know, we have to keep a close eye, on, uh, close eye on that situation. As you can see, we've got plenty of food being shipped out here, and now they're starting to stock there, um, and we're not even into yard time yet. So, so um, it's helped. Um, knocking up the uh, knock, knocking them up right um also just as a little bit of a thing um i, I did like these rooms for sh i <laughs> i designed them to d for a little bit of show with toilets and stuff like that and i've just finished those off a little bit these buildings still need decorating and windows putting in but you know i've been saving up lots of money as you can see look look at the doubloons so we've got plenty of uh, money to spend which is always important and I've been changing this area around so we have our workshop but I need lots more to go in here so we've put in this will be where the new power thing goes which I've not built yet um, the psychiatrist has a new office and we've moved parole closer and I have put it's hard to see them but I have put paths around here as well but the snow is really coming down um, when we're not going to have enough room in here to fit everything that I need, which is a real shame. Um, so we are going to be, I mean, we always plan to buy this bit of land, but we are going to need to buy this bit of land um, in order to finish the centre area as well. Um, and another use for this back area will also be um, supermax and rehabilitation, which will um, also uh, work as um, the security place. What's it called? The, what, what's that place called? The protective custody, that's it. <laughs> right, um, and then I've built all these plans. You can see here, there's a load of plans here, which we're going to get working on, as well as trying to finish up these. I'm very clean to finish these um, cell blocks because I want to get to 500 prisoners and I really want to start putting this huge wall in that we've planned. 
um, you know, and starting to landscape this, make it look all lovely. I really want to do that. So lots of money for us to be getting on with things today. Yes, let's start. We're going to make the builders very, very busy. Let's start with, um, we're going to put that in there. A lack of salt. Uh, oh, no. Put that in there. We'll come to the doors in a minute. And we're going to pop, plop this in here. We're going for it. And um, we're not going to do this one just yet. I don't think we're going to need uh, quite a lot of doubloons for that one. Because this is going to be like the luxury cells. You know, where we spoil them rotten. So all the really good, good prisoners can go in there. Um... And we're going to have to look at shifting this forwards as well um, in order to get this wall exactly where we want it. Anyway, they can get started on that. Let's put the doors in. We've got... So this is a... Oops. This has a three... Oops. Three-way entrance. Let's... Uh-oh. That's wrong. <laughs> the doors go here, look. Let's see. Hopefully that will do it. And then... Oh, auto save. Oh, this is three as well. This is a three. There. Hopefully they'll be the right way around, but if not, let's not worry. So, you're probably thinking, well, what are all these plans down here? It's a good question. Um, I did um, some maths as well while, while planning this out. What we have here is the mail room, um, which... Let's see if I can remember which is which. The mail room, which is this one here, um, and the shop... And here we have the library. So it's one massive complex. Um, and these rooms had to be huge. You can have, again, up to a maximum of 20 prisoners working in any one of these facilities. Um, look at these. Look at these guys. Oh, I'm in plans. Come on. There we go. Um, so... Um, and they actually require a lot of space per prisoner compared to a lot of the other places, you know. Um, so they ended up being much bigger than I originally planned. Uh, and it really has sort of finished this area off, which is somewhat annoying. Right, anyway, so let's get, let's get a building, uh, all of this. Let's see, what are we going to have? Should we have, I'm trying to decide if we're going to have brick or concrete do you know I think we might have brick right so here we go oh no I've done the walls look I've done the walls not the foundations oh my goody aunt right okay here we go let's have a look here so here it's going to take a bit of filling in isn't it there's a hallway here Strip there, square there, <laughs> huge area, huge area. Let's just take all of our money, look at that, all our doubloons. Right, now, going to stick a door on there and there, and, oops, and a staff door here. Um, and another area we need to look at building very, very soon is this here. Um, and then we've got a proper wall to go around, but we're not sure where that wall's going to end yet. Because I think, what else needs to go in here? I think um, the prisoner hospital, it's a shame now that I've built this right across the back, because we're going to have to have a path coming back here, aren't we? The prisoner's... Um, um, yeah, hospital will have to come in here. Um, I might have a think about it. Uh, we've got the classrooms as well. I haven't built those either yet, which also is supposed to be in this centre area. So not gone quite corn to playing this area, because this took up far too much space. Right, anyway, let's give them time to build all of this. They're on it, but they're on it. Let's give them time to build everything that's here. So here it is, a huge empty building. So, now let's have a look here. I seem to have designed it in such a way that they're always going to have to walk through the library. <laughs> oh well, there we go. Um, that's just how it is then. So, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is build the shop first. Because we can get some money back from this, right? That's, 
that's what we can do here is get some of our doubloons back so let's do this rooms shop all this to be shop there we go there we go right now in the shop we need um shop front now look you can see here i've i've planned quite a few shop fronts there we go wonderful should we put a door in there as well now um tables look now i've planned all this but can i remember <laughs> exactly what's supposed to go where shop shelves so let's have a look the shop shelves are four no a three okay so here we go now do these need to be flipped around who knows i have absolutely no idea hmm and then look, I suppose these look like they're supposed to be tables, right? Okay, so they're the tables. So they come in here, they drop all the goods off, and then they get all sorted. Look, see that this is enough for that many shelves. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking these were supposed to be shelves. Well. Huge store. Huge store. But I, let's say, I reckon this is probably a good idea to build the store because. Um, we should theoretically get some money back um, I think to be nice we'll also give them a radio they can work to a radio wouldn't that be nice wouldn't that be nice that's it build the shop oh and what is the power like oh look we're going to need to put the power in done a bit of fiddling with the power as you um, because uh, we had to pull the kitchen off this power line because this was getting far too overloaded and we need to get other buildings on it. Um, and very soon we're going to have to take the centre unit, that's all this, off of this unit. And I'm hoping that this will be able to keep both kitchens that will be here. Um, so this will be the new power unit area there. It should be all right. Now, this is going, we're going to need the power line to come into here. And we're also going to need, it should reach for the toilets. That should reach, right? I reckon. That should be all right. If not, we'll adjust it. <gasps> Look at all this. All the shop stock is starting to come in. Look at this. <gasps> oh, masses of it. <laughs> uh ohs. Yeah, that's an awful lot of stock for the shop we've also got food for the kitchen but look look at all that look we've got porn mags <laughs> and chocolate bars by the looks of it and magazines and newspapers and... fantastic how exciting it's all being brought in here where it gets sniffed by our dogs should we have a look at the um patrols I've got patrols all over the place, look. <laughs> Which I don't think I've shown you in a little while. But, um, yeah, we do. We have patrols all over the place. And um, at night time, we have dogs patrolling the outside of these buildings. And um, it does catch tunnels. It does catch the odd tunnel um, early, which is great. Really, really great. Um, but the plan is, when we come to do this wall, at very least, I would like the outside wall to be this perimeter wall here which is um really tough stuff and you can't you can't put like um you can't run power through or anything you know so it's coming along nicely they're in the process of um still moving all the stock can you see here that they're walking there We've got this stock coming in here all being sniffed and it's still still lots of stock here oh actually though it has changed look kitchen staff and that it's <laughs> they're still having to work through it still lots there um lots of exports i think we've co also completed this license place pr produce a certain amount of license plates i'm pretty sure that got uh, completed uh which is fantastic so with our shop in place what we need is uh to start employing some prisoners to come and work here um 
so here we go. Maximum jobs is 20. That's, that is the most that you can ever have in this place. So there we go. So we shall now be able to, uh, during this working day, get a bunch of prisoners in and start sorting all this stock onto the shelves so that we can start selling goods to the prisoners. Because lots of prisoners are working now. And they're getting money. Look, they've got 32 doubloons. I've seen some prisoners, though, with over 100. Look, 55 doubloons, 28 doubloons, 96 doubloons. We need to give them 94, 200. I saw another 100 there. I saw, look, 249 doubloons. Do you see what I mean? They need, I want that money back. <laughs> We're paying it out. I want it back. Um, so we've got to give them something to spend their hard-earned cash on. And this, this is the place. Indeed it is. Um, so looking forward to, to getting them, um, to getting all this stock put onto the shelf so we can start selling it. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. I think what we'll do is just extend these down, at least like that. Shall we put a nice... We, I think we will put that, fill that gap as well. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? There we go. Still bringing the stock in. <gasps> oh, I can't wait for work time. I've also set up some deployment in here um, with dogs and guards um, during working hours um, so that this stock is continuously being sniffed even when it's on the shelves because even though it's been sniffed a couple of times on the way in I'm sure the stuff has still sneaked in through because it always bloody does look at this they're all working like troopers <gasps> putting look look filling the shelves slowly oh they're all like busy bees i'm loving it and then look we've got these girls at the counter it's a shame we've got all this shit here what's that what's wrong with all the oh my god look the tables are actually jammed rammed look even the toilets they've got stock in the toilets all down the aisles oh wow so much stocks come in and the dogs they have found stuff on the on the ladies. They found stuff in the boxes. So this is going really well. It's uh, I'm loving the fact that we've got dogs constantly sniffing around here. <laughs> so when they're behind the shelves, you just see floating items. <laughs> it's like Ghostbusters, but with porn mags. Look, <laughs> fantastic. She purchasing a chocolate bar. She purchased a chocolate bar for her and her baby. Oh, wow. That's it. Working hard. That's it. You move this shit around. I can't wait to see all these shelves full. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, look. And we still got the workmen bringing in the stock. Indeed we do. Anybody else want to buy anything? We've got lots in stock. Yes, we do. Hello. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Oh, look. Laundry. It's really messy in laundry. Look at all this sick everywhere. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> they need to sort that out. Um, we haven't built lights. Look, outside here. So we could do that. Build our lights and just get... Um, oops, 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 oops materials there we go now while i was uh waiting for this to build and while they're filling the shelves full of beautiful colorful stock um i did ramp up security a little bit around here i'm waiting for this wall to go in here but here's deliveries we've put the fence around we've put this path in and we've put a metal detector on so it'll just help with the security of what's coming in, just a little bit more. Uh, well, once this wall's gone in, because a lot of them are also walking around here like this, and that needs to stop. So I'm waiting for that wall to go in. Um, but that'll be really great. I'm really looking forward to it. <gasps> a fire. Oh, no. And the sprinklers aren't going to get it all. Quick. Quick. She says, slowly, 
Here we go. Quick! This one's dispensing aid. I like this. The spring. <laughs> the little red crosses. It's dispensing aid. Oh no. Actually, the sprinklers might get it. Might not need the fire brigade. Still, wouldn't hurt. Nobody seems to be hurt, though, do they? Which is good. But yeah, it looks like the sprinklers are going to do it on their own. This sprinkler's gone down, but... Oh, this one stopped dispensing. Oh, we don't need them. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it might do. The f this flame hasn't gone out! This flame hasn't gone out! What? <gasps> it could get bigger! Quick! Fire department! Where are you? Where are they? He started cleaning up already, but we've still got a bit of fire here. <laughs> still got a little bit of fire. Can we can we take care of this little bit of fire? <laughs> here they come. <laughs> Four men for this tiny flame. Oh my god. Over a kill. Alright, that's that's quite enough. Thank you, you can go now. <laughs> Blimey. Right. I suppose we'll rebuild this wall. And look. It's messed up my pipework. I like to. How's all this needs to be? There we go. There we go. We'll get this sorted, right? And has this no longer become part of the kitchen, this area here? Does that happen? It actually wipes the kitchen area? Let's have a look here. It does! Look at that! Ooh, we'll plop that back in. How do we repair the floor? Is that a thing? Can we, can we get rid of these? Can, does that get cleaned up? I don't know. Or do we actually have to put new flooring down? Well, we haven't actually put flooring down in here yet. Should we do that? <laughs> Might as well. Been forced into a little bit of redecorating here. Um, hmm, kitchen floor. I like black and white tiles, but it looks like it's going to have to just be white tiles. Or do we go ceramic? Oh no, now I, now I, oh now I can't, now I, I, I don't know. I, let's try ceramic. They're quite ugly, aren't they? No, let's not do that. <laughs> let's go. Let's go white tiles. White tiles for the kitchen. There we go. We'll also include this area and this area. There we go. A nice new floor. We won't worry about the floor in here. No. And look, with ceramic. Maybe put some ceramic tiles there in the bin area. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Nice. Nice new floor. And then I'm assuming that that will make all this look better again. By the way, this is all still smoking. Anyway, we put that fire out and the oven's repaired and stuff like that. So that wasn't too bad. We got away with that because I have the sprinkler system. Um, a sprinkler system we also have around here should this blow. And just so you know, I have the sprinklers around this one as well. Because you can't be too careful. Um, have I done it around this one yet? That's no. We must remember to do that <laughs> when we go to put that power supply in. So there it is. There's our shop. They're still in the process of unpacking everything, um, but they're getting there. Look, it's cleared out the toilets. It's all cleared up here. We've got, only got a couple here in the aisles, and it's mainly on the tables. A couple of chocolate bars lying around, you know, a bit of a tripping hazard. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm sure they'll pick them up tomorrow. We're still trying to get through a backlog of trucks, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. Should we put some lights down here? So I think that's it for this episode. Um, please hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's episode. And if you've seen this far and have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And please share the video with anybody you think who might be interested. And I will see you next time. Bye! -bye.